joined today by Andrew McIlwain, Managing Director of Investigator Resources. Andrew, thanks for your time. Good morning, Dave. Pleasure to be here. Developing one of Australia's highest grade, if not highest grade, silver projects in central South Australia. Why this project and why is it so compelling? Well, look, uh, as you said, Dave, in fact, the highest silver grade project in Australia. Um, there have been some higher grade intersections in other areas and other, other prospects, but for a project that's going to move forward, we're currently between our PFS or pre-feasibility, we're completing a de de definitive feasibility study. Uh, it's in a relatively benign area in South Australia. Uh, we have great community support, but like any project, grade's king. And uh, as I said, this is the highest grade, great value in the ground. As you say, you're moving through the DFS, due for completion early next year. What are some of the highlights you're expecting? Well, we've, we sort of took our foot off the gas last year a little bit. Uh, we had been pushing the DFS earlier, but we had an area at the end of the conceptual Paris open pit, the project's called Paris, uh, and we needed to work with the traditional owners to gain their consent to be able to encroach on an area that had been of some interest previously. We got that uh, consent approved or their approval to move into that area late last year, which allowed us to do some further exploration drilling and we'll extend the resource. So right now, we, uh, last week, we presented the last results from that drilling and uh, about early June, we expect to have a new resource out for the Paris project. That will underpin the definitive feasibility study. And as you say, there is significant exploration potential in and around the project. Sure, so uh, we have a, quite a large land holding in South Australia, but sort of contiguous to the Paris project, we've got uh, a number of targets. One we've been chasing for a while is called Apollo. Uh, we had a significant intersection outside Apollo uh, uh, late 2022, and we've been back there drilling again this year. Uh, it's within five kilometres and a great complementary feed if we can prove up a resource there. As you say, the DFS rapidly advancing, moving in the right direction, but you've also turned your attention slightly to another commodity in another project area, Tungsten in the Northern Territory. Yeah, and, and I think uh, some investigators asked me what I'd been smoking when we got involved in that. Uh, uh, a little bit of my background is a uh, mining engineer by trade. I've uh, run a tungsten project in Spain at some stage, and I've also been involved in the Northern Territory for 15 years. So. I was aware of this project from my time in, uh, involved in the tungsten industry and tungsten's all about off-takes. It's uh, grades good, but tungsten's about the off-take agreement. I have some relationships with the off-takers. So we saw an opportunity at a low cost to get a foot in the, the ground there. Very small uh, expenditure for us to get a 25% ownership, some diversification. And, and as we move Paris forward, there'll be a hiatus of time where we're going through approvals, that allow us to do something a different uh, within our portfolio. So talking about the future, what are some of the highlights that investors should be focusing on? Uh, look, going forward, as I said, in June, uh, we'll release our new updated uh, resource for the Paris project. Um, everyone asked me to predict how many more ounces. Uh, I'm confident there will be more, but we've added a 25% strike length to the existing resource. So I'm not suggesting it'll be 25%, but there'll be some more ounces in that. That's great because it adds economics to the project. The other thing as we developed the economics for the project, when we presented the PFS, it was at a $34 an ounce silver pro, uh, price. Uh, last week, silver in Australian dollar terms was 39, so over a 10% you know, boost in revenue, plus some extra ounces will add to the project. Resource coming out, uh, we're doing some other work in the background, we're drilling water bores, all those approval things that we need to do as we move the project forward. But uh, we'll also have an update on the resource at uh, Molly Hill, which is the tungsten project later in the year as well. World class project, outstanding jurisdiction, a clear path forward, exciting times ahead for Investigator and its shareholders. Andrew, thanks for your time. Dave, my pleasure. Thanks for your time.